Okay, here we go. This is Garrett, Tears to Joy Ministries.org. This video is called Christians Should Be Ashamed. That's right. Some of you out there should be ashamed. Now, let me explain what I'm talking about. There is a multitude of Christians worldwide who are not giving any financial support to help other ministries. Now, this is not a brand new problem. This problem did not start 50 years ago. This problem with Christians not supporting one another didn't start 500 years ago. And this problem didn't start 1,000 years ago. If you read Paul's letters very carefully, you'll see that he was already complaining about this 2,000 years ago. Now, children of God, why aren't some of you supporting Christian ministries? Now, I'm not saying you got to send your entire paycheck. Come on, guys. Come on, sisters. I'm not saying that. And I'm not saying that many of you do not need financial help also, because of course some of you do. I know that. That's what this video is about. The body of Christ, we men and women and teenagers, many of us need financial support, and, and, and most of you, 99% of you, are not helping anybody. You're not helping anybody financially. I know that most of you pray for people. I know that most of you pray for your family, friends, strangers, people on the internet who need help. I know that most of you pray. Praise God for that. Amen, right? But you're not helping Christians who need financial help. You are not helping. You should be ashamed. I know Christian ministries where they have to put up videos on YouTube asking for help. Well, why are they asking? Why are they asking? Because you are not helping them. If all of you just gave them $5, they would have all the money that they need to do what they got to do. Even in all of the years and years and decades of Paul's ministry in the New Testament Bible, he rarely got financial help. Yes, he did mention getting help a couple times, but he rarely got financial help. This is an epidemic problem in the Christian church going back 2,000 years. Now, on payday, can you start to help somebody who needs help? Is that possible, children of God? Or do you want to just hoard your money and hold on to your money and keep your money and just whatever? I mean, whatever. Ask God who he wants you to financially help and he will show you. He will show you supernaturally. He'll lead you to your friend or family member that needs help. He'll lead you to the homeless person down the street from your office. He'll lead you to the ministry website that needs help. He'll lead you to the YouTube channel that needs help. Now, I'm not asking for any help. Tears to Joy Ministries doesn't need any financial help right now. If you want to send in money, the money goes to the poor people. It doesn't go to Garrett. Are you joking me? Are you kidding? It goes to the poor people, of course. But I'm not asking for money. Let me tell you a real life story, okay? Children of God, you're my brothers, you're my sisters. Some of you might be older than me, but almost all of you are younger than me. You're my little brothers, you're my little sisters. I love all of you but you are not helping other people.
My website has been up for about seven or eight years now full time. It's quite gigantic. We got free movies, free videos, free Christian music. We have many, many free Christian books and many articles. You could spend a year or two on the website. Now, we've had a donate button there, I don't know how many years, but for a long, long time. Do you know how many donations I've gotten in the last seven or eight years? Maybe 15. Now, you'll be thinking, well, Garrett, 15 sounds like a lot. Let me explain something. Out of the 15 donations, most of the donations were $5, $7, or $10. Most of the 15 were 5 or 7 or 10 Praise God. Then I got a $50 donation. I remember getting like a $20 donation. I remember getting like a $17 donation. And then I did get two. Let me see. I got one. I think I got two $500 donations. Praise God for those two women. Praise God for them. All that money went to the poor people. I know a lot of people all over the world. I know people very poor. I know people so poor that they could really use your help. They could really use your help. Now, it is a blessing to work all week, working hard at the office, in college, working fast food at McDonald's, delivering pizzas maybe, driving a taxi or a limousine, doing, doing a secretarial work or customer relations. And on payday, when you send $100 to a Christian ministry that really needs help, or when you send money to your mom or to your sister or to the homeless people by Walmart, out on the streets, by the gas station, by Taco Bell, it is a great, great blessing and you are missing out. I'm telling you right now, if you are not helping other people, you should be ashamed. You should be ashamed. Think about that. In eight years of full-time ministry, I've gotten about 15 donations. In eight years. Think about it this way. In over 3,000 days, my ministry has gotten about 15 donations. And three or four of those donations were from family members and people that know me very well. Think about that. 15 donations in about eight years. I don't want to be that way. I don't want to be that way with my money. I don't want to be that way in my heart. I don't want to be that kind of child of God. I don't want to disrespect Bible scriptures telling us to help the poor. If you do, I still love you. I'm still here for you. We can still fellowship on the internet or on the cell phone. But you might want to rethink everything. You might want to rethink everything you're doing with money.